Oh, this right here, what am I drinking out of? I'm drinking out of my hydro jug, sis. Stay hydrated. Use code Belinda Alma at checkout. And yeah, go get your hydro jug and stay hydrated while you lash. Because this is key to clear skin. I wouldn't know because your girl is struggling with the clear skin right now. Yes, sis. What, what is going on with their skin? I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, my Amazon favorites for lash extensions and what I tend to buy the most of or what I have bought and I have loved from Amazon. Amazon is super cheap, especially if you have Prime. It gets here within the same day, a day, two days, three days, super fast shipping. I love Amazon so much. Um, I literally buy from Amazon every single day. It's like Christmas every day at my house. But yeah, so I'm going to show you my favorites that I use that help me as a lash tech here at home or at a salon, anything you need to buy and you need it fast. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is key where I store my glue. So this right here is what I use to store my glue. It's, it's a jar that keeps basically everything out. Um, I don't know, kind of like a mason jar, but it's not a mason jar. I don't know what they're called either. I'm, I'll have links to everything down below. But this right here is what I use, especially since I live in Florida. There's a hu The humidity here is horrible. And I was noticing that my glutes was tending to go bad or like I would have bad retention. So I, would, I used to store it in the fridge. You could buy yourself a mini fridge if you want for your lash room or your lash salon or whatever you want. But you can store it in the fridge. I know the fridge is a good place to store your um your glue but i store it in this little container here it's easy for me to grab easy for me to put away it doesn't take up too much space um and it has three little spots for your glue so that's where i store my glue i make sure i take it out before every client and i put it away after every client so that way the humidity or the bad air in the area or in the the atmosphere doesn't get into my glue and it seals it tight product number two i'm going to talk about is my glue i always have a lot of people ask me on what glue i use i actually use sky glue and it's from amazon to be honest i've kind of noticed when it comes it's like filled up to like right here it doesn't come with a lot of glue it usually lasts me a good month three weeks um but this is what it looks like let me see if i can get it out so this right here is the sky glue and this is what I use right here. This is the glue that I use and this is the glue I live by. This is the glue that I love. I know a lot of people are like, oh, sky glue is so harsh for your client's eyes and this, this, and this, and that. And uh, it's like, dude, at the end of the day, your glue is coming from the people from China to you and wherever city you are. All you're doing is you're changing the label and you're changing the cap color. So exactly how is it so much harsher to use sky glue versus your glue your $40 glue versus your $13 glue right here I need to know sis how is your glue any better are you personally making your glue I mean if you're personally making your glue and you know it doesn't contain all them harsh chemicals then maybe I'll, I'll, I'll you know I'll be like okay you got it but other than that your glue is coming from China your glue is still coming from the same people that are making the sky glue and I can guarantee you it is the same glue excuse me I have the coronavirus but I'm joking joke joking I don't have it um, but I just do have a, a little um, sore throat with uh, you know anyways side note um, but yeah um, glue comes from the same people in China all they're doing is changing the packaging and making it into your brand okay so sis stop wasting fifty dollars on some glue buy your shit from amazon okay third thing i'm going to talk about today is this thing right here so this thing right here actually has and contains um barberside and water so you just put your tools in here um i did get a lot of backlash on how i'm not properly taking care of my and sterilizing my uh, my shit so yeah i've had this i just didn't want it to take up so much space um and i actually have a sterilizer as well one of those things that you put the beads in and it gets hot i have that as well i just don't want it and i don't want plugs and cords everywhere so i don't use it i was using the little cup and it was working just as fine but i have this and i've had it in the closet if you go back into the video ma'am you would see it ma'am with the nasty comment ma'am um, but yeah, I bought this. Oh, I had this. Um, so you just put water in your barber side and you dip your tool. You put your tools right in there and it kind of just um, 
dips into the barber side as you close it so it goes open and close the whole time like so it comes up dry and then obviously soaks um down below but yeah this is what i use to clean my tools um again it takes up space if you gotta clean your tools i guess um no no i guess you do clean your tools behind everybody period use that i love it and the next thing we're going to talk about is i do talk a little fast which is why it's gonna have me to talk a little bit but um so tweezers 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 if you're starting off and you don't know which tweezers work best for you or you're kind of in between tweezers or you kind of don't know what tweezers are going to work best for which type of lashes you're using um i definitely recommend buying from amazon amazon has a variety of tweezers you can buy and pick from you just pick what i would Personally, what I would do is I would buy kind of every single tweezer like every month kind of and you can just play around with a different tweezer See what works best for you because what works best for you may not work best for The person that taught you or the person that taught you might have taught you with some tweezers and they don't work good for you um, Everybody's different. We are all unique in our own way I tend to use more of the curved and like the 90 degree angle tweezers that's my personal preference. I do not touch straight tweezers. Straight tweezers are trash. Straight trash. This is the one I use for my pickup and placement of the classic eyelash extensions. And this is the one that I use for my isolation. I like the way it works for isolation. Again, you might use straight tweezers for isolation or you might use that curvy tweezer that I just used that I told you that I use for um, pickup and placement of the classic lashes everybody's different everybody has their own rhythm and flow that they use for our lashing and then this is the um the angle or whatever that i use for my making fans and like for my volume lashes to make fans and if you watched any of my videos on how i make my fans you know that these are the tweezers that i tend to use a lot again i'll have links to all these tweezers down below my straight or i mean my my isolation tweezer, my classic pickup tweezer, and my volume hand making tweezers. So this next thing right here is something that I recently just bought and if you know, you know, I've been making TikTok videos and this right here is really good. I click kind of clamp it onto my ring my my ring light that I have right here for my lighting right now. Um but this is what I use right now and this is what I'm going to start using for more of my TikTok videos for my lashing. So it has to stand basically. So what you do is you untwist this right here and it opens up and it closes. And this is where I put it on my stand and then I close it and then obviously I tighten it up so it doesn't move. And then right here the clamp is for your phone. And then I take my phone, um, push my thing down, and then just holds your phone right in place it doesn't move and this one's very very sturdy i had another white one that i have in my bathroom right now for my tiktok videos but i have it in my bathroom right now and it's kind of flimsy so like as soon as my phone goes on it it starts to fall because my phone is a little heavy so i bought this one hoping it would be a little bit more sturdier and it is i really like this one a lot so this is the one that i use for my lash room i like this one a lot again it's very very sturdy i like the way it holds my phone um i just like i said i clamp it right onto my ring light and it stays i haven't recorded on it yet but i do plan on making more how-to videos very very soon once i get more clients because you know it's a little slow right now two more things that i'm going to show you guys that i really love the next one um, I think my phone was trying to dial 911. Okay, so this next one right here is just the fan. I was using the small held handheld fan before. It's the one I started with. It's the one I always used. Um, but I didn't really like it that much. Um, so I bought this one on Amazon right here. It has three speeds. So this is the low. This is the medium. And this is the high. So this is the fan that I use. So this last item right here there's actually a smaller one that doesn't require all this i don't use this as much anymore but it's my shaker um if you don't want to sit there and kind of dry your glue like that you can always put buy a shaker i bought this one on amazon and it comes with different straps so you just put your glue right in there and then you'll strap it down plug it in obviously and then you turn it on and it just 
it shakes your um, glue. There's different types of shakers. There's a handheld one. There's um, this other one where you just kind of put the glue on top of it and it shakes it. Again, different preference. You can buy whatever you want. This is the, this is the first one I bought because this one was a little bit cheap and then they didn't have the handheld ones. But now they have the handheld ones and I'm actually going to buy it because it might work out a little bit better for me. Because you don't have to plug it in. Like, this shit is way too... Like, I don't like cords. I don't like having big things hanging around. I like little small stuff where you can just throw it somewhere and it's fine. But, again, a shaker. You do need a glue shaker. Or you can just use your hand. Make sure that you're shaking your glue. Because, like, I tell my clients or, like, the people that I train. Glue is like orange juice. You have all the goody stuff and it's sitting right at the bottom of the glue. You got to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. To make it work make it taste good make it last if you don't shake it it's pointless and make sure you drop out your first glue drop your first glue so we like that's like the leftover glue and you just bad glue throw that glue out it's trash that is what i have here as my amazon favorites again i'll have everything down in the description down below and if you guys want to see more of my amazon favorites i do have more videos coming up Buy your hydro jug, use my code Belinda Alma at checkout to save you some coins. And I'll have more videos coming hopefully every week. You know, I say this about every month and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get for real for real on YouTube. And then like shit happens and I'm like lazy and I don't feel like maybe putting on makeup or I just don't feel like getting ready or I just don't feel like filming or my face is looking too fat and I'm like this and all my videos and then it's bad. It's a bad video. So I hope to record a little bit more i'm my goal is every week um post every thursday or every friday or if you guys have a specific day that you want me to post let me know or what kind of videos you want let me know and um yeah don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl okra and i'll see you guys in my next video